Hello everybody. I got some more eBay purchases I want to share with you guys. Um, these are from two different people that I uh, bought from. Uh, I believe they were all auctions that I won. I can't even remember what I paid for the stuff, so um, I'll just get into it and show you guys what I got. Uh, Marvel Spotlight on Deathlock, the Demolisher, issue number um, 33. Um, this is the first appearance of Double Slayer. And it's a new stand issue, and it's in pretty good condition. Pretty cool cover, too. Mighty Thor number 201. Uh, when I first seen this issue, I really liked the cover. Um, but when I first seen it, I thought it was the Executioner on the front cover. Um, but instead, it's actually Pluto. Still a really cool cover. A really cool book. I flipped through it a little bit. It looks like it's going to be a good story. Thor 274 with uh, talking about the death of Baldar and uh, talking about Ragnarok on it. It's a newsstand copy and it's in really, really good condition. Really nice condition on it. Uh, Spider Woman number seven. I do remember what I paid for this one. This book was only a dollar. I do remember that much. But yeah, it was only a dollar and it was a Bronze Age book. There's nothing significant about it. It's just a Bronze Age book, a newsstand that I bought for a dollar. That's in pretty decent condition. I remember what I paid for this one as well. Like three bucks for this uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 22. Um, the first meeting between Spider-Man and Moon Knight. Also, also a new stand, uh, I think, but that's uh, in a little worse condition. It's a mid-grade copy. It's pretty cool. First, uh, first time Spider-Man and Moon Knight meet each other. Uh, Spider-Man 192, Amazing Spider-Man 192, uh, Whitman variant. Uh, none of these comics was very much. I think they were all between a dollar and three dollars a piece, except for the last one. The last one was a little more expensive. Amazing Spider-Man 192 Whitman variant. Amazing Spider-Man 242 newsstand in really good condition. This is a high, high-end condition. Uh, I couldn't say exactly how how high. I don't know if it would reach uh, the nines or not, but it's it's really nice. It's really glossy. It's got new spine ticks in it. Corners are nice. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice book. I was uh, flipping through my Uncanny x men a few days ago, and I thought I had all the issues from 150 up except for the first uh, Gambit and the first Jubilee. And then I figured out that I didn't have this issue, number 213. Um, so I started looking around and looking for um, ending times on this book. And that's how I ended up with most of those other books, except for three of them. Three of them came from a different seller. Um, but I've seen this and uh, for... Uh, time ending soonest and I end up getting it uh, in the bids for I think I paid like eight fifty or nine dollars for it um, But it's a new stand and it's also in really 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 good condition. I, I can't remember but I think this is the first First time that Wolverine and Sabretooth are on the front cover fighting each other Ever like in any books at all ever first time they're fighting each other on the cover but yeah, I'm glad I picked that up because I thought I already had it. And I looked and I didn't. So yeah, the video is kind of short, but I wanted to show you guys these books. 
Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I know I don't usually show like huge keys or anything like that. I don't open up too many mystery boxes and I just show, you know, Bronze Age hauls and stuff that I pick up from eBay. And you guys still watch and comment, so I appreciate it. But yeah, guys, good luck hunting for those comic books. And until next time, take care, guys.